Good morning. This is Shomitra Pal. We are meeting once again for the video lecture series on machine tool and machining. As you remember, we have four classes or four sections, parallel sections. These video lectures are applicable for all the students and all the students are advised to go through these video lectures so that their learning objectives are achieved. Today we are going to address module 9D, milling and drilling machines. We will primarily address the constructional features and kinematic features. In this particular video, we will address the part 1 only where we will have a look at constructional features of milling machines. The major objective of this lecture is to extract what are the constructional features and what are the kinematic features. In part 2, we will try to see how those kinematic features are implemented for milling machines. In part 2, we will also look at constructional feature and kinematic feature of drilling machines. There are various types of milling machines. All of them you will not find in a standard shop floor. Some of them they are popular, some of them they can be almost called exotic. One such is this omniversal milling machine. So, this is one particular milling machine which you will not find readily in most of the sh shop floors. Another one is plano miller. This will also you will find only in those shop floors which are into heavy uh, industries. In that, part, part, uh, in that part particular industrial segment, you will find it. The, there is, as you can see here, depending on what kind of control is used, you have normal milling machines, which can be called as manual milling machines, and you have also milling machines and machining centers, which are CNC milling machines. So, let us have a look at uh, what are the constructional features of these kind of this is a knee and column type milling machines and this is also a horizontal spindle milling machine. What do you mean by horizontal spindle milling machine? This is the arbor. This one is the arbor of the milling machine on which the cutter is mounted and this is the rotation of the arbor. The axis of the spindle or the arbor is horizontal. So, this is called horizontal milling machine. This is the column. This structure is the column of the milling machine. On the column, knee is mounted and on the knee, the table is mounted. And as you can see, there is also a rapid traverse motor. This is one particular feature in a milling machine that we will be addressing in the part 2 of the lecture. But this is one constructional feature that we know. So, in a knee and column type milling machines, you have a column and a knee and knee supports the table. Now, this table can move in the longitudinal direction, it can move, it can be moved manually by rotating this wheel, there is a screw nut mechanism. This can be fed in the cross motion and it can also be moved up and down. These motions can be manual and they can also be imparted through powered motions. These are not positioning motions, these are feed motions. That means machining can be done in all these three directions. These are the manual wheels through which you can impart these motions. This is the wheel which imparts the longitudinal motions. This is the wheel which imparts the cross, the green one. And this is the one by which you can put vertical feed to the table. This is the table as we have mentioned earlier. So, what are the features that we have extracted? This is having a three axis. It is a column and knee type machines. These two we have not mentioned as yet. So, let us have a look. One is head changing type. This is a particular milling horizontal spindle milling machines which can be converted into a vertical milling machine. This is the vertical cutting head. That means from the horizontal axis of the cutter, the axis of the cutter would become vertical. So, this is a machine where the cutting heads can be exchanged. This is a swiveling type universal milling machines. This one is a swiveling type universal milling machines. The table 
can be swiveled about the vertical axis. So, what I am trying to say is that this is the vertical axis, table can be swiveled in both the direction uh, by 45 degree. This is specially useful for uh, machining of helical gears in a uh, milling machine. This particular thing you must have done in your third year uh, laboratory class. Now, this is a vertical milling machine. Earlier we were looking at horizontal milling machines, this is a vertical milling machine. This is a, here the axis of the cutter or axis of the spindle is vertical. And this is also a knee and column type milling machines. This is the knee, the column is this one. On the knee, the saddle is mounted through which you can give cross motion. This is the table, table can be moved in the longitudinal direction and the whole knee can be moved up and down in the vertical direction. This is the cutting head. So, this will have uh, the part of the speed gearbox which you have learnt in under kinematics of lathe. So, something similar to that. So, this is the cutting head, it should be, it would be there. Some of the vertical spindle milling machines can also may have a swiveling head. In this particular configuration, the head can be swiveled in this particular direction. This swiveling actions provides uh, some flexibility for cutting slanted surfaces. There are milling machines where head can be swiveled in this particular uh, direction as well. If you visit machining shops around, uh, you would be able to see uh, this feature. In our workshop, uh, training workshop, there is a vertical milling machines where this particular type of tilting head uh, vertical milling machine is available. Currently, in this particular milling machines, a face milling type cutter has been mounted. Now, this is another one, vertical spindle fixed bed milling machines. In the earlier milling, this is the, uh, this is the table. This table cannot be provided a vertical motion or it cannot be provided a cross motion. They cannot be provided. So, this machine can, this particular table can only reciprocate in this direction. So, where from these motions would come? This motion would come directly from the spindle. So, this, this is the column, this is the column. So, this column can be moved in the cross direction and the spindle can be also moved up and down. So, when we are losing two motions on the spindle, on the table, we provide those two motions on the uh, spin, on, on the cutting head. So, this is not a swiveling type, this is not a knee type, this does not have a head changing type, it does not have head tilting type. It is called a vertical fixed bed milling machine. How is it different from vertical milling machines or vertical axis milling machines? These, as because table is having only one directional uh, one, 1 degrees of freedom that is only the reciprocation in the longitudinal direction, these machines are much more robust and rigid and typically they are heavy duty machines. Now, this is, uh, we are trying to give you a sense of what is plano miller. This is a planing machines. It is very similar to a shaping machines. Only thing is that these are the cutting heads of the planing machines where single point cutting tools would be mounted. So, this could be a single point cutting tool. This could be another single point cutting tool. They would be mounted, but they would not reciprocate. Instead, the table would reciprocate. So, that is the planing machine. Uh, this you will not find in normal workshops. Only in heavy industries, you might find them. Now, these planing machines have been replaced to a large extent by plano millers. So, you have the same kinematic arrangement. You have a cross rail over which the cutting heads can be positioned in this particular direction. There are two cutting heads. This cross rail can be moved up and down and this can, table can be fed in this direction. Typically, a face milling cutter would be mounted here. This is the uh, motor, 
through which the power would be provided to your face milling cutter for machining operation. So, this is a plano miller type machine. Once again, this is not a very normal kind of milling machines. This is a special kind of milling machine. With progress in time, we have also developed or industry have developed CNC milling machines, which are CNC control. So, this is a CNC milling machines where the cover has been removed. This is the column of the milling machines. This is one servo motor. As you can see, there are three servo motors. As you can see, there are three servo motors. This is one, this is one, and this is one. So, there are three servo motors for three axis movement X, Z, and Y. And this is the spindle, and along with the spindle motor, and here appropriate cutters can be mounted. This is a vertical milling machining center with the cover. But ATC, which is automatic tool changer, which is not visible here, this is the photograph of your ATC, where required tool can be fetched from the ATC to the spindle and the tool which is not required can be sent back to the ATC. So, these are the constructional features of different uh, milling machines. In the second part of the lecture, we will go to the kinematic features of milling machines and the drilling machine constructional features and kinematic feature. Thank you so much for your time.